Closing good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick preview to the Rochester Americans versus the Laval Rocket. As the Laval Rocket finished with literally just one more point than the Amherst and two more wins in the regular season in the league standings as they look to get off to a good start in about a half hour at 7 p.m. Eastern against the Rochester Americans. It's not going to be easy, though, because these Americans are coming in looking like one of the underdogs of the entire postseason, were able to take out Belleville, even though Utica obviously was not the same almighty Utica from the first half of the season. They are still a very good team, and Rochester was able to take care of business there. So they're coming in hot, where Laval had to go the full five with Syracuse, so I would definitely argue that the Rochester Americans are coming in feeling their blades and a lot hotter than the uh, Laval Rocket, who took five to take down the Syracuse Crunch. Now, that's nothing, obviously, against the ball, because the Crunch are also a mighty fine team, but I'm just saying, just from looking at things from a surface perspective, it certainly looks like the um, Rochester Americans are coming in a lot sharper into this one, where I think the big key also for Laval is they got to get some of their guys that were really playing great in the regular season fully going, and that's what took them the extra mile to beat the uh, crunch because you have other guys stepping up like Bazile, uh, Belpedio, Sebastian D.A. was great in the regular season, and but you have Niku also stepping up who leads a team and points at the assist, but Harvey Pinard hasn't been there yet fully in the postseason, where of course in the regular season he was the leading points producer, where in the postseason he hasn't been fully visible yet. He's had some good moments, but hasn't been exactly what you would want. Obviously, hole and hole, and I would Likely, you're likely going to see Xavier Willette have a little bit more impact, uh, Lonan have a little bit more impact going forward as well. So I'm looking for some of the other guys, minus just the Paquettes um, and uh, Nikus of the world and the Sebastian DAs and the Belpedios and the Bazils that are stepping up. You're going to want to see <clears throat> uh, Lonan and Harvey Pinard and Bork and others continue to give them more depth because the reason I think they took such a long time to get through the Syracuse Crunch, which could have made it a lot quicker, especially with how sharp Caden Primo has been. He's been one of the best goaltenders in the quarter as a 196 and a 940 in a small sample of games. He's only played in four games, but he's been very sharp and in cage, and you got to give all the credit where credit's due, where Poole and struggled in his game. So I think... It's just all going to be on, are there skaters? Are they going to be able to get enough out of the full roster? Or is it just going to be that you have other guys step up, but the guys you were relying on in the regular season more, like the Harvey Pinards, for one example, are not able to fully find in the postseason because you have to rely on your stars. And this far, it's been great for Laval to have others step up, but you, eventually you're going to have to rely on those guys. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Where, in contrast, Paterka, Krebs, uh, Rustalainen, who all had great regular seasons for the Amherst, continue that into the postseason. So the guys you would consider their stars continue that in the postseason. The only guy that is struggling that was having a good... Prowl's doing solid in the postseason, but uh, Mersh, similar to um, how Harvey Pinard hasn't got going in the postseason. That's been how Michael Mersh is, the veteran for the Rochester Americans. But minus Michael Mersh... Uh, R2 Rustalainen has been killer this postseason. He's a perfect big body. Boxes guys out, goes through people, perfect for the playoff. Peyton Krebs and Paterka's skill. Um, Rosick's been great as a rookie. Biro's been solid in a bottom line role. Same with uh, Murray in the roles that they put him in. So I think the Americans, I have to lean honestly, even though the Laval Rockets, both these teams are almost even. I mean, there's a two win difference and a one point difference. But even though the Americans were a little bit lesser than the Laval Rocket in season, they got the great veterans of Jimmy Schultz, who's playing some of the best hockey you've seen in him as a defenseman play in a while. Sean Malone's playing great as a veteran. Jankowski's playing great as a veteran. And then you have all this ridiculous skill of the rookies. I feel like the Americans honestly have the more complete team for the postseason just because, yes, a lot of these guys are rookies, but Bazile got off to a great first-round start. He's not normally a goal-per-game guy, so is that going to continue? Um, Paquette really was able to step up. He's a playoff performer, so I see that, like his toughness and grit side that he has. I see that continuing. But again, you need the Harvey Pernards to continue to step up. You need the Borks. You need the Lonans. They're going to need guys that just had average to mediocre first series step up more for them 
who I've been very impressed with the overall play of the Americans and their depth this far, even how uh, Mark Ultz played defensively. So th the only guys that they really want to see get going is Mersh and maybe the rookie Jack Quinn, who also didn't have a good first-round series. But minus that, the other rooks are killing it. So I'm going to have to lean Americans in this in the five-game series. That would be my pick. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. And we also have to say the Americans, the big key for them is going to be their continued defense because obviously with the Amherst, Aaron Dell's a fine goalie, but he's nothing overly special where I'm almost actually surprised because he's been fine, but he hasn't been great. They haven't gone more to Michael Hauser, but I feel like I could potentially see that coming in this series. And I think Hauser's a hell of an AHL goaltender as well. Obviously, he doesn't have the NHL experience of Dell, but Dell's more of an AHL goaltender than an NHL as well. It'll be interesting, but I think they have a good two bunch there where if they have to go to Hauser with how he's um, looked this season as well as his couple games up, and then he obviously went back down to the ECHL just to help that team out. Um, I think he's had a heck of a season, so I would rely on him. Where Poulin has struggle bunnied at times and really struggle bunnied in the postseason after rounding out the season with a couple off starts and then relying big time on Caden Primo. So I would go with the experience there as well in net, and that would help me lean towards the Rochester Americans as well. But peace out, everybody, and stay safe.